Hi guys, Steph here. So I wanted to share a couple of quick and simple cards that I did in the past two days and they really all were really quick and simple. Um, I Ava has a birthday party tomorrow at school and what they're doing is celebrating all the summer birthdays and there's five kids, one girl and four boys that are having birthdays over the summer. And Ava asked me if she could give all of them cards. Well, I have girl birthday cards, so I didn't have to worry about making that, but I didn't have any boyish ones, so, or gender neutral. So I said, okay, well, I only have two days to do this, so I'll make them very clean and simple. The first one's probably the most um, complicated, but I was running out of time, so the other ones are really simple. Um, so let me share what I did. The first one here is also the largest. It's five and a half by five and a half. And it is on a paper tray and cardstock base. And then I took uh, and matted around it with a red base, uh, red, dark red cardstock. And then I used my, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, my Stampin' Up! paper piercing tool and um, little template and went around this mat with the paper piercing, piercing, I can't talk, paper piercing. Then this paper back here is from, hold on, all my supplies here, the Echo Park Scoot, nope. Is it? Sorry. Yeah, it's the Echo Park Scoot um, paper pad. And then I put another piece of red and then a piece of white cardstock. And then these three gumball machines here are using the My Cute Stamp set. Um, and it's this, this little gumball machine. I stamped it three times, colored it up with Copics, fussy cut it out. I popped these two up on one dimensional and this one up on two dimensionals. <clears throat> I added glitter to a few gumballs and then I put glossy accents over those and some glossy accents on the silver accents of it. And then um, the Have a Bubblicious Day, I did that in Stampin' Ups, uh, not, not quite navy, and that is from the Stamps of Life Bubblegum for Me. And I just used to have a bubblicious day. And then I just used one of the solid gumballs and stamped it in coordinating colors. The green, um, green galore, more mustard, no, summer star fruit, and ruby red from Stampin' Up. And then I added some uh, light blue brads that matched the cardstock. And that's the front. And then the inside I just did the same uh, papers again and did the, oh sorry, on these I added glitter to the yellow and glossy accents to the other two. In here I just stamped them regular and then the happy birthday is from the Paper Smooches Party Posse. So quick and simple card number one. <clears throat> number two is this one here. And for this one, I used uh, Stampin' Up! Screen green cardstock. Ava's yelling hi. I rounded these two corners. Then I used, for this here and for the little turtle, I used papers from the uh, My Mind's Eye Collectible Notable. And I used the Paper Smooches Party Posse again. And I used the little turtle and the let's celebrate. And inside I used it's your birthday. And I just paper pieced him. I added some Copic to part of the shell. But I did paper piece it. And some Copic to his toes and added glossy accents to the shell. For this piece over here I used a piece of white cardstock. And the um, paper smooch is geographic. This one here. And then I stamped it in the more mustard. And then I just added some American Crafts orange polka dot ribbon. Put that on there and went around it with some white gel pen and stamped the Let's Celebrate. 
on the inside I added another piece of the pattern paper and another piece of the stamped paper and it's your birthday that's number two <clears throat> number three is this one here and it is on the um, paper tray ink um, oh my goodness not the white the um, you know the white with the flex in it I can't for the life of me think of the name I don't know why and you um, so for this one here, I used... Mommy. Yeah, honey. I'm going to put it on the water. Okay, I'll get it. <laughs> Jeez, eh? There's a bottle of water on the thing. Sorry, you guys. Um, so what I used is... First, I used the Lawn Fawn um, Sage Cheese Polaroid Die Cup. And then... I used a piece of white cardstock for the inside here. I covered the entire thing with Broken China Distress Stain. Then I dried it. Then I used Paper Tray Inks Tremendous Treats Valentine for the airplane. And I used the stamp and die. So I just die cut it out, stamped it on, colored it really quick. And then um, I also used the Paper Tray Ink Clouds die here with white cardstock. Then I just went around it with some antique linen uh, distress ink. And then um, for the Polaroid dies here, I used the um, My Mind's Eye Hoot Nanny paper. And I cut out two and put one at an angle. So it looked like there were two of them there. And then there goes Ava in the bathroom again. Sorry, you guys, they shouldn't film by the bathroom up. Um, then, uh, this paper here is also from the Hoot Nanny. Then I put Flying By To Say, and that is from the, um, Lawn Fawn Flying By set. And as you see here, it's straight across. So first I, uh, just inked up half of it, Flying By, and stamped it. Then I put some masking paper on the high and the Flying By, and just put, to stamped the To Say underneath there. I added a red button and some red and white twine. I used this little Recollections Heart Punch, punched out some red uh, cardstock, added glossy accents on there and on this heart, and um, this is going to the one that Ava calls her boyfriend. <laughs> How cute is that? Um, and that was it to the front, and on the inside I just used another piece of the pattern paper, and Happy Birthday, and that is from... Uh, our craft lounge love is in the air. Hold on one minute, honey. You're making lots of noise with that. And it's just this happy birthday right here. And that's card number three. For the last card, probably my least favorite, but that's okay. I was in a rush. Is this one here. And I just used, again, the rustic white. There we go. I remembered. See, rustic white cardstock from Paper Tray Ink. And then I used some blue Recollections paper. And I used my Doris plaid embossing powder, uh, embossing powder, uh, embossing folder, put uh, so three lines of red and white twine around it, put that down, then on this white cardstock I stamped from Paper Tray Ink, it's called Wonderfully, Wonderfully Whimsical, and I stamped this and this, and then inside here it fits a little teeny happy birthday. So I put that down there. I had a leftover cloud from my other one, um, from Paper Tray Ink. So um, first I uh, stamped this again on some masking paper. I masked off this and this and the tree. And then I used my Copic airbrush and airbrushed the sky. Then I took the masking paper off. I Copic colored it very quickly, not a lot of blending. And added some stickles to the heart here. And then um, stickles around the cloud, which has popped up. And I popped these up on dimensionals. And inside just says happy birthday, which again is from the Love is in the Air from our craft lounge. And that is it. Those are my four cards for Ava's birthday. And then the girl one, I'm using one that you guys have already seen that I had in my stash. So... That's it. I hope you guys like it. These are super quick and simple cards. If anyone wants like a tutorial or something, I'm hoping to get to those. No. Um, I've been starting videos on another Copic tutorial, a Prismacolor, a Distress uh, marker. Hold on, I'm talking. 
Okay. Uh, a distress marker tutorial, uh, a ink tense pencil tutorial, um, finishing up a uh, quick and simple card, and also doing the um, a scene card tutorial. So super busy. I have been starting those, but it's like I can start a video and then I have to wait a bit because um, I just have so much going on. But they will go up, I promise. And also, big news before Ava talks, um, I decided I'm going to, even though my room's not done, I'm just going to start filming um, the D-Stash giveaway because I need to get it out of my way so I can finish my room. There's so much I'm giving away. So um, that is coming up in the next couple of videos, guys, so watch out. And Ava wants to say something real quick. Nobody this one, this one is Garen's. Oh, this one's going to be Garen's, this one's going to be Garen's. And who is Garen? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend? <laughs> I mean, Garen is very sweet and adorable, but your boyfriend? <laughs> And did you see your boyfriend at the park yesterday after school? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that glare from the windows, guys. Oh, yeah, we, uh, after school yesterday, Ava, I took Ava and her friend Chloe in my car and we went to the park and met up with Garen and Dylan. And then we had ice cream, and then we dropped Chloe off at home to her poppy. And then we came home and had dinner. And hopefully, if Ava's a good girl, t on Tuesday, Chloe is going to come over all day. Right? She's going to sleep over. Yes. All right, guys. This is a 12-minute video already for something quick and simple. So we'll see you in a little while. Bye.